Welcome to Amsterdam, where I'm gonna show you my very own float crib that I rented for a couple of days on Airbnb. It came out to be in dollars about $450. So it's one of these, I just have to find it. Now, as soon as I've toured the crib, um, the floating boat, I'm gonna show you everything that I own, everything that is in my suitcase. As long as I don't get hit by a car here. And then, I guess I'm gonna tour a coffee shop or something. But anyway, first house tour, second suitcase unpacking video. And then, it's this one. That's my floating crib. Just picked up the keys and I'm ready to go. If you're wondering about my, my attire, I don't know. I felt like making my first appearance and oh man. <laughs> now I know what it's like to be a chicken wear a skirt. I have to worry about the wind. I th you know, I thought I'd make a grand entrance here to let them know that Mr. Geraldo, the world's greatest Canadian, I'm from Canada and I'm wasted, has just moved into the neighborhood. Yeah, that's it. Ah, the wind situation. So judging from the pictures, no, it's not this one, even though that would be uh, an entertaining st uh, stay. It is that one. Now, upon closer inspection, I'm not so sure whether it's actually floating or if there are some uh, foundations, as you call it, that it's, uh, yeah, whatever, I'm gonna call it a float crib. I mean, that's, that's proper. I mean, that is an actual, you can see that one floating, it's moving around. Mine doesn't seem to be to be bouncing back and forth like that, but whatever. Given the price, so it's actually, it's, oh, it's happening again. Oh man, hold on. It's gonna be kicked out of this neighborhood before I even moved in. Oh, there's some rich people here, look at this car. Where was I, where was I? Hold on, hold on. Where was I? I lost my train of thought. Hold on, let me... Yes, it's correct. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting some looks. The funny thing about the Dutch, I just noticed now, you know, they kind of, no, this, you know, this is kind of a, a flower power, a flower power area. You can see from how people are dressed and so on. So it'll give you some looks. But once they kind of back, they've passed you, then they'll start laughing. No trash? Then what exactly are you for, Mr. Trash Can? Funny. You know, I think this is gonna be my. I'm gonna be walking around. Not easy. I think I'm just gonna walk around in my Caesar's Palace robe for the remainder of my, my Holland holiday. Or is it the Netherlands? You tell me. I actually do not know the name of this country. Is it Holland or is it Netherlands? Hmm. I must admit. This is one flashy place. And it also kind of looks like someone else is living here, which, uh, which I was told is the case when you rent these, uh, these boats. 
hold on. Where, sh where shall we? Not a selfie. Security selfie. Wow, wow, we were. What do we have here? Art from the Ming Dynasty. I just made that up. I have no idea if, if it actually is from the. Ho oh, ho! Let's look at these treasures. gin yep let's indulge in some gin after we've completed the house tour a fireplace flowers proper kitchen one microwave oven gas cooker do we have a washing machine? Ooh, pasta bolognese. Do we have a washing machine? Yes, we do. Do we have a washer and a dryer? No. I was told, the woman who gave me the keys, that uh, uh, the water and everything on here, it does go into the sewer. It doesn't go into the canal. If that's something that any of you were thinking, so. It might be possible, might just be possible to go for a swim in the canal, even though she said she's never swam here. Why would you have two cranes? Happy crane and an angry crane. Wow, they put some thought and effort into this. Geraldo, mucho, mucho approval of the details here. A treasure chest, an, an actual treasure chest. I don't know if you, I don't wanna break it. Yeah, let's not break it. Fireplace. How does this work? Oh. It's lighting up. This is amazing. This is a real gem of a place. Sofa, one of the things, like if I'm in a studio, yeah, I'll sleep in a bed, but more, of, most, more often than not, if I have a couch, even though the bed is really comfortable, I, will, I would actually rather sleep on a couch. So I think I'm gonna post up my, my black ass here for the night, as Azamat Bagatov would say. Wow, this is comfortable. Now, hold on. You didn't think I just walked around like this without anything, did you? I had my phone, I had my wallet, and my camera cover. That's, that's better. Oh, wow. The owner here is a, a person to my taste. Look at this, Dutch houses and castles. Oh, actually, we're doing a house tour. Let's uh, let's finish the house tour, and I'm gonna unpack everything I own. Oh. And then that was the bridge I crossed.
I dubbed thee the bridge of hotties. Hold on, let's see if there is a second floor here. Nah, not really. But wow, what a neighborhood. Ooh, I haven't, I haven't seen a, a city as unique as this since Venice. Granted, of course, Venice looks slightly better, but you know, this is, this is further west and to the north. I mean, this is, uh, this is a very, very unique site. Viking. Harold approves of this boat. Well, boat. Still done. Let's, let's see if we can see from here. I mean, that, that's clearly a boat. A proper float crib. This... I don't know. I guess this is kind of here, so you're... To prevent idiots like me from... From um, walking around the whole thing. Yeah, so this whole thing is mine for two days, maybe more. Guess that's one of the bedrooms. All right, getting some looks. Like, is he breaking into that boat? He doesn't look like the kind of man who could afford to rent that. Why is he wearing a robe? Let's go inside. Let's see the bedroom and unpack all my stuff. Absolutely everything I own in one suitcase. A big suitcase. I've been thinking about downsizing. It is, I've been, this is the suitcase I've, I've used now for, for the past year. Now you'll see in a minute why I'm traveling with such a, I guess we'll lock it. Nope, that didn't work. You'll see in a minute why I'm traveling with such a big suitcase. Wow, this is cool. I thought that was actual wood, but now I can see upon close inspection that it is not. For obvious reasons, because I mean, there's, there doesn't seem to be a way to refill this. You'll see in a second why I'm traveling with such a big suitcase and why I have for a year. I thought I was going to be able to downsize in, um, in February, March, but no, that didn't happen. The Rona happened and all the plants came out of the window. Hold on, hold on. Locked. Hmm. Bathroom. Excrement overflow on floor. Complete shutdown of water. Repair cost will be charged by guest. Now why on earth would you instigate an excrement overflow on the floor? Some people. Some people. All right. Eh, it's not my kind of art. Don't understand that type of art. This is uh, one hell of a view. Let me see this. Oh no. How does this work? Ah, that's how it works. Yes, this is where I was standing before. A great view from the bedroom. Am I filming? Yes, I am 14 minutes in. Good, didn't have to do uh, a second take of this. That would have been a disaster. Let's see, bathroom. I always do these things in one go. I don't plan what I'm gonna say, what I'm gonna do.
What kind of magic mystery box is this? And how do you open it? Ah! You don't! You, s you simply twist it around. A bathtub on a boat. I'm impressed. But all right, the moment you've all... Oh, there's more. I was gonna say, the moment you've all been waiting for. Ah, oh, it's a closet cupboard. Ooh, another shower. Oh, it's a big boat. But all right, the moment you've all been waiting for, everything I own. Let's start with my, I'm just gonna throw it all out on the bed here. And then, first, the MacBook Pro. Broken iPhone, hand sanitizer. Some coins. Let's go pocket by pocket here. I show you absolutely everything. Ah, second camera. Hold on. Let's do this all in one go so I don't actually have to look at the video myself or edit. There we go second camera it's the same camera that I'm, I'm actually filming with right now but this one started to act up a bit and uh, I decided to buy another one whilst keeping that one. Oh, there's more whoa who remembers this treasure from Cusco which is now sadly in yet another horrible lockdown I feel for the people of Cusco I hope you're all right Cyrus and, and everyone there horrible what your government is doing to you Ooh. And this wasn't a Pachamama. It was a. It's a llama. I think it might. Is this the world's greatest moth magnet? <laughs> I don't remember from that market hunt. This old woman promised me that that you know it would. Uh, it had special powers. Uh -huh. Does it help in any way to attract moth? Uh huh. Uh huh. See, see. see? Ah. See what else is down here? This is the Pachamama, isn't it? Wow, I'd forgotten about these things. All right, let's lay it all out here in an orderly fashion. There. Toiletries. Chargers that I need on the road and extra batteries. Yeah, nothing too exciting. You know what iPhone chargers look like. The book I'm reading at the moment, which is a mountain of a book, 700 pages, but boy, is it fantastic. It's absolutely, it's the best book I've read all year and I'm only on page 45 or something like that. It's just so much information. Every paragraph is just packed with five or six things or events that make you go like, oh wow, I, I really need to remember this. And, and you have to look it up and study more. So it's gonna take me some time to finish that book. We have my Hilton pen from the reception yesterday. We have my uh, Spartan helmet. Gotta protect the emperor. We got my the only face mask that I don't mind wearing. We have Oral-B Essential Floss for the pearly whites. And we have a, um, this belongs to the helmet. And uh, this one if I want to lock my bag. So that's everything that I carry in my carry-on. Let me see, 19 minutes in. Now for the main event, 
my I don't know how big this uh, this suitcase actually is in terms of liters, but it's it's the biggest suitcase I've traveled with f since I started traveling 20 years ago. And the only reason I, I was gonna this was supposed to be a temporary thing. I needed the suitcase to bring a special item with me. Uh, you guys remember when I... Well, I'll open it and I'll tell you that story, why I'm traveling with all this. Because this is not like me to... to... Um, to have... Ah, to travel with all these useless things. But if you can see here, at the bottom, that's... that, that box takes up pretty much at least a, a quarter of the suitcase, maybe even a third. But let's uh, let's count then. I have one T-shirt, just a plain black one. I have one tracksuit uh, pants, pair of tracksuit pants. I have one pair of black jeans. These are my, my, my favorite. I don't wear them too often. I have one pair of green. No. This is a... a uh, this is what I wore in Greece. I don't have any gray pants then. I have a... long sleeve that I bought in Stockholm, I think, back in April. I have there's some underwear, a white t-shirt. Wow, you guys remember this one from from Vegas, the Vegas Strip, and this uh, this was the one I ate the cobra in. Oh, it's not often you guys see me worried. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. And that mark right there is from the hair dye, the first time I dyed my hair blonde in that video, in that salon in Hanoi. Uh, Everyone have pink hair. <laughs> no. So it's still going strong. I guess it's, uh, it's one of my favorite t-shirts. This was the one I made in a shop in, in Athens. You'll remember this from my Greek Greece videos. These are my my poor sunglasses that uh, I walked it's embarrassing sometimes I wasn't filming um, it's embarrassing when you walk into a shop and you don't buy anything and especially when you've the thing about about Greece was that I was looking for sunglasses and I walked into the shop and it was at the the, the height of the I can't say the height I mean it's still ongoing but anyway and anything you touch or try in this shop the staff have to take it and then hand clean it and disinfect it. So I'd tr gone in there, tried like seven or eight pairs of sunglasses. I didn't really like anyone. These ones were, were the only ones that I that I somewhat uh, liked. I mean, now I really liked them. Um, and horrendously expensive. Normally I would have just walked out, but then of course um, the the woman in the shop she was a hottie. And then uh, yeah, long story short, I ended up buying the uh, the uh, sunglasses because I was too embarrassed to just walk out of there <laughs> without buying anything uh, and now you know why um, stores hire hotties because us men we get uh, pressured into buying items we don't really need or want okay a pair of shoes this was another s such story I think I was in Belgrade I was trying on shoes I didn't really like anything they had in there but uh, all right I didn't want to I didn't want to walk out of there without buying anything, so I ended up buying this pair. I've never used them, not once. I guess this is my second pair of jeans then. From Vegas, I think. Whoa, the Crusader Chalice. My favorite wine glass from, I bought that in Siena. A great buy. I've used it a lot since. Here we have my, uh, if you're like me and you hate running with a passion, the only way to, to force yourself to run is if you're listening to music. 
And these wireless ones, they uh, from, I don't know how to, this is Dr. Dre's brand that is sold to Apple. I don't know how to, I don't know how to, um, how to pronounce them. But anyway, you can run with them and, and jump. And I mean, they, they stay on and the sound is pretty good. Battery life is, you know, you can run for a day without, without uh, the battery dying on you. Here we have another polo shirt. Ah, oh, this one is nice. Hard to find as well. I bought it in Vegas. Here we have my We The People 1776 tie that I bought in, must be about a decade ago when I went to see the Liberty Bell with noodles before we had dinner at William Penn. He has a restaurant. Um, well, he, he's dead, but yeah, in his name, there's a restaurant on the outskirts of Philadelphia, maybe an hour or something to drive there at an old uh, colonial estate. Uh, so the We The People uh, tie, I bought this at that cracked Liberty Bell in, in Philly. Uh, when I went to see Noodles uh, a decade ago or something, I still have it. It's, in fact, it's the only tie that I own. And uh, this one, if you've been on my channel for a long time, when I was driving through Andorra, the, from Barcelona, through the Pyrenees, this was the cover that I would put on my, my uh, backpack when it was raining. I was driving or snowing through the mountains of uh, you know the Pyrenees and, and the Alps. Was it three years ago that I did that tour on my bike? Here we have some more chargers. Yeah, chargers. Um, different countries. I also own these. I never used them. I mean, I don't. I don't rate them. And you guys see me do a lot of haircut videos, but I only do that for, for show. That's that's. Um, I don't like sitting at hair salons and so on, unless it's on the streets and it's very unique. But I, I generally always cut my own hair, and I use this. Maybe I'll make a video. I mean, it's very very easy to do yourself. And generally, when you cut your own hair, I find that the result is much better than when you go to the salon because they don't know exactly how you want it and so on. These are my Nike, I don't actually remember how I broke them, but I figured, you know, I've kept them so, um, so I can use them in some. Oh, there's a boat. Let's say hello to my neighbors. Hello there. Where are you going? It's me, yes. <laughs> I think one girl recognized me. She <laughs> said, it's you, it's you. <laughs> or they're like, you know, who's this crazy dude yelling at us? <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right. And yes, I'm keeping that scene in. In fact, I'm not going to watch this video, like I said. In the beginning, I don't mind doing embarrassing things. There, there we go. This is the reason, oh, it's heavy. This is the reason why I travel with this big backpack. I have been planning to do a giveaway. Okay, some of you are... Let me show you first then, hold on. So it's been a year now, I've been touring with this. Hold on. Ah, upside down. Ah, oh, there's some other. Oh, look at this, Susan Vajiki. You're bigger than Vancouver. You're bigger than Venice. You're bigger than Vegas. One million subscribers. Okay, let's let's throw this up here. We're trying to keep recognize your team. Well, there is no team. I guess most big channels they have they have uh, people working for them and so on, but not me. Um, yeah. So the the golden play button. I actually never had it out of this thing. Oh, so this is what it, you look like, huh? Shiny. Let me take it out then for the video. So, you guys will remember when I gave away my silver play button to that uh, hobo homeless person sleeping outside uh, the old city walls of Florence. Mm, and, and this one too. Here, here. Ah, it's a YouTube. Uh -huh, uh -huh, you can uh -huh. put here. 
You can sell it. And um, yeah, I made a video of me giving it to him, but I didn't make a video of of, of uh, you guys going to buy it from him. But anyway, so I thought that was a cool cool thing and a cool little competition to have. But many of you commented saying that I could have done so much more with it. Um, and in a way you're kind of right. So my plan with this one, to give this away, I was going to have a competition again and anyone who donates to, to Stonehill's foundation, I was going to give it to, to one of you. But we seem to be able to, to run those competitions anyway with just random things that I buy. So now I'm, I'm trying to come up with another way to, to offload this, to give this away, whether it's a competition or to raise money for something or something fun or cool. I mean, I'm all ears. So, I mean, if you have any ideas of how we can, we can do that, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section. But this is the, the golden play button. Hmm, maybe I can use this for a thumbnail. So I'll be outside my float crib with a golden play button. But hold on, don't, don't lose it in the river. Ah, like this. Can you see the float crib over the, over the button? It's the worst thumbnail ever. Let's make another one over there later. After the video is over. But anyway, if you do have any ideas, I'm all ears. Let me hear it in the comments section. And then we continue. Whoa, what's this, Harold? Do you have Rona pills? Hold on, let me see. These are my, as most of you know, well, those of you who actually follow what I do, whether it's on Instagram or on my channel, you will have known that I had big plans for the for the rainforest jungles in Africa this year. I, I did the vaccines and all in the winter and then the Rona hit. Um, so this is a Malarone malaria tablets. So I am I am good to go. I just need to to uh, yeah, to decide when. Well, I do travel with a suit. Hold on. Now I haven't worn it for a while, so it's a bit it's a bit wrinkly. I bought this in Germany, I think, a couple of years ago. I also have a um, well I said I was gonna show you everything I own, so let's get it out of here. Yes, yeah, so I have two it's a very nice one actually, I really liked it. Like it. I just need to take it to the dry cleaners. And a couple of, uh, so this one I bought in Germany, the shirts I bought in Vegas. One white and one black. Then, let me see, we have a, we have a hoodie. Yep, this was the, this was the hoodie that, uh, that Carlos wore for that uh, when I was in... Oh, that boat's coming back. Oh, they're all gonna look in here and laugh, aren't they? Let me go out and do something funny. I was gonna show my underwear and so on, but... Let's see. Underwear! Oh, this is my favorite hoodie. More so than the, than the Maltese Cross. But uh, my beard's kind of messing up the, the hoodie. Wow, the Great North from the football game I went to in Serbia with, uh, with Bald a couple of months ago. All right, what's in here? Oh, some documents. Ooh, I've been looking for this. I usually put this around my camera when I walk. Underwear. Socks. Whoa, this is a this is an absolute classic. This is my favorite t-shirt. Hold on. Let me turn it inside out here. You guys remember this? 
Every time I wear it, it's like, well, I can't watch videos with a dude who's wearing affliction t-shirts. Oh, what a douche. Look at his affliction t-shirt. I don't know why affliction has such a reputation. I bought this t-shirt in Poland. Must have had it for four or f oh, five years, maybe. It was ridiculous, the price, but I mean, I've worn it a thousand times since, and it's still, it's still uh, through machine wash, crazy hand wash in various countries, motorbike trips, mountain trekking through mountains I mean it's still wow pure quality love it then we have my, have my shorts then we have my new bag that I got in Prague we were sitting there and the manager took a liking to to Mr. Bald and said that he was so famous that they wanted to give us something for free so we walked into the shop you know Mr. Bald he has no etiquette so he picked he just, he just robbed that store. He took like 10 or 12 different items in there for free. But me, humble as I am, I took one of the cheapest things on offer. A simple Hard Rock Cafe Prague bag for 10 euros. All right. Man, I'm starting to sweat in this. I could take it off. Here is a simple t-shirt. You might have, you've probably seen me film with this a million times. V-neck, V-neck is my favorite. More socks, underwear. Another, um, this would be another Knights of St. John t-shirt. Yep. And last but not least, the stone washed, this was expensive, it was like 40 or 50 euros, but I bought it in, um, in Athens from a nice uh, lady. So that was, oh, and another sock. So I mean, guys, that was, oh no, what's this, money? Pounds, forint from Hungary, England, all right. So that was everything I own. Now for the grand finale, let's see if we can get a, um, but I am looking to downsize as soon as we get rid of this golden play button. Let me see then if we can we can make a thumbnail up front. And uh, 37 minutes. 37, oh the fireplace is come. Wow, it's hot. Whew. It's really hot. I guess that is the actual central heating of this of this ship. I just noticed a nice detail on these um, it looks like a, like an old Chinese house you see okay there we go Okay, float crib with the golden play button. I guess now people are gonna be like, you just got it, you haven't been traveling with this for a year. Well, whatever you think, buddy. Heraldo don't care. So that was it, my float crib. Yep, I'm gonna go for it. Ah, oh, they're coming to say hello. My only worry is getting back out of there. Hey there, buddy. Exactly how do you get... I'm a strong man, I can do it. So, from... Amsterdam. It's flashiest neighborhood. We're all the net where I'm giving this boat the horrible name because everyone's looking at me now. Oof, it's kind of cold. Geraldo is going in. Signing off. Oh man, that's funny. Whew. 
like the woman who gave me the keys, she said, like people throw their bikes and so on down here. So she's never swam here before. She doesn't know anyone who has, but all right. So first thing for everything, I'm just doing this to give you guys a proper view of the float crib. Let's see if we can stretch this to 40 minutes. Come to think of it, this is a way better thumbnail. All right. From Amsterdam. A very cold Geraldo is signing off. How am I gonna get back up there? <laughs> okay guys, signing off. Oh man. Let's sit there and dry off. Don't want to make the apartment dirty. Okay, it's ending. Signing off. Actually, it's not ending. I know what to do. Go for the back entrance. I like this. Maybe that'll become a new thing. I'll be the man who travels the world in a robe and a broken pair of sunglasses.